pop quiz. How old does a girl have to be to get married in the state of Wyoming? Well, I'm sorry to say that if you guessed any positive integer, you overbid because there actually is no law in Wyoming setting a minimum age for marriage. See, the law there says that 16 and 17 year olds can only get married with parental consent. And for anyone under 16, the marriage needs both parental consent and a judge's approval. So at least theoretically, you could marry a zero year old. Hell, given the GOP's dedication to pretending that zygotes are people, you can theoretically marry a negative 0.75-year-old. Of course, some people would come to the defense of the law by pointing out the difference between theoretical and practical, but that would be missing the point. Why would you have a loophole that would allow for the marriage of seven-year-olds in the first goddamn place? And lest you think that this is some weird vestigial thing that was written into law in 1780-something and nobody ever's gotten around to changing it, I should point out that the reason I'm bringing it up today is because the Wyoming GOP is currently resisting an effort to change that law. That change is HB7, a bill that seeks to strip the right of a judge to decide some dude can marry a middle schooler. But the Wyoming GOP is actively standing in its way. They sent out a mass email urging constituents to contact their representatives and oppose this bill since girls under the age of 16 can still get pregnant. According to the email, the bill, quote, denies the fundamental purpose of marriage by denying a child's father and mother from living under the same roof, end quote. In other words, if we can't force 13-year-olds to marry their rapist, how can we justify forcing them to carry the fetus to term? And I realize that this story doesn't really need a knife twist at the end, but I think it's worth pointing out in times like these that when they're not protecting the rights of child rapists, they spend their time passing anti-trans legislation under the guise of protecting children from sexual predators. But enough about the Wyoming GOP. Let's shift to a different place that comes to mind when I say a whole bunch of Nazis. Germany. So for those of you who don't know, abortion laws in Germany are actually pretty conservative. Technically, abortion is illegal except in cases of rape or danger to the pregnant person. Now, it's not quite as bad as that makes it sound because it's actually not punishable in the first 12 weeks of pregnancy for either the doctor or the patient. So the worst case scenario, you can get mandatory counseling for it. Later than 12 weeks, you have to show that the pregnancy is a threat to the person's physical or mental health. And then you have to go to some bullshit anti-abortion counseling thing for three days before you can have it. So not quite an outright ban, but bad enough that even a person living in the state of Georgia can get away with side-eyeing it a bit. But leaders from Germany's Social Democratic Party are hoping to change that fact with a move to delete paragraph 218 the section of German law that makes abortion illegal in the first place. And to nobody's surprise, German Christians are standing in the way. Interestingly enough, though, they seem to be trying to argue that the way the SDP are going about this change is unconstitutional, because legislative minutia is your only option when you can't win the argument in the larger culture. And look, I know German politics about as well as I know lunar topography, so their constitutional arguments may be valid. But the fact that they're not even bothering to argue that the law against abortion has merit tells you a lot about how marketable they think their position is. And on that bit of far-removed good news, I'll wrap things up and hand you back over to Noah and Eli. Eli.